Well, Chief Funk was brought to our dear brother, you know, rest in peace. You know, he was really like the godfather of gangster rap. A buzz around cocaine came to him with a style of music and approached them, you know, Rufus Lester with it. You know, because at that time, NWA was, was really doing that, you know, scratching and, you know, with Dr. Dre and the Yellow Boy and with L.A. Dre. But what we did, when, once we came to Rufus Records, we bought a different type of sound. Now, T Funk derived from P Funk. Listening to all the Parliament Records, Ohio players, growing up in the 70s, they had a big impact on us. So we were always dabbling with the element of the funk. And we wanted to not like the Parliament sound, we wanted to emulate it, but do it our own. So we called it T Funk. And that's how T Funk got put on the map. That's when Above the Law came out with Living Like Hustlers. And from that G-Funk line, you heard words that we invented called ballin', chronic, and some more of it. Those words came from above the law and cocaine. And, you know, me signing at the end of 90, came out with a project uh, called Who Am I? And that was the first big video that uh, Easy e you know, outside of Russell Simmons' daughter for the West Coast, that was the first big deal, you know, in the game. Uh, was Port Broken Lonely, Above the Law, and it was the, it was cocaine. But they were so scared of my name that they called me Who Am I in 1991, and that was right before the Deep Cover, cover soundtrack and all that came out. So G-Funk, and you're talking to one of the architects of G-Funk, and with this particular music, you know, from Above the Law and Cocaine, we influenced, you know, practically the whole West Coast, you know, a lot of people thought Dr. Dre had been a G Funk. No, Dr. Dre did not have been a G Funk, but we, that was our mentor in the game. So we showed Dr. Dre something and he showed us something. You know, Dr. Dre is a genius. And, but, you know, for the record, both Law and Cocaine are the architects of this worldwide music from the West Coast called G Funk, which the influences go all the way deep from Battle Cat to Rick Rock to uh, DJ Quick. DJ Pool, and uh, now that you hear the young YGs and you heard the last Kendrick Lamar really reach back into those G Funk elements, you're talking to one of the architects of that particular sound. So that's why, out of, out of all of that, uh, being the most featured artist in any genres of music, country, R&B, uh, rap, or whatever it is, I've always been G Funk for the last 20 years six years, so being that I've been on uh, actually over 10,000 features, being over 50 million records sold, 